Hi, I'm Dr. Kamak Shah. I'm your instructor for Excel VBA. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to achieve productivity using while using Excel spreadsheets. By the way, there are so many types of uh, spreadsheets. Excel is one of the softwares available for spreadsheet activity and also programming. So, spreadsheet is one of the tools available from the MS Office Productivity Suite. There are so many other tools for different uh, purposes like uh, word for writing and uh, powerpoint for slides and uh, access for database so like that spreadsheet excel is a spreadsheet application so there are so many other spreadsheet applications uh, by the way microsoft excel is a proprietary software it's not an open source software just like you know lo calci in this video i'm going to talk about how to achieve productivity so what is productivity productivity is the state of uh, creating quality activities or I can simply say like you know productivity refers to doing maximum out of minimum effort or minimum cost time etc 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 by the way you can just uh, go online and see what is uh, what is the exact definition for the productivity the objective of this so the aspect of productivity also applies to spreadsheet applications just like you know in this section I'm going to talk about Excel so what is all about productivity so first you should know how to open excel right before we talk about the productivity now you just have to press the if you are using a windows based we call it as pc personal computer i mean other than mac and uh, linux uh, just like ubuntu notebook or something like that so i'm using windows machine in which i have a window symbol p right so left side i think third fourth uh, button in your um, you know the whole uh, keyboard is uh, is used for you know launching the applications in windows so here i press the start uh, you know windows a button in which there is windows icon right uh, so the apps will be you can see the apps like this and I'm just going to, I'm using the cursor button so downward cursor, rightward, leftward so I uh, pointed to Excel application using cursor button and then when I press enter so the Excel uh, which is a spreadsheet application in MS Windows uh, MS Office Productivity Suite okay it is launched so just like this and you can just print, uh, press enter in order to get inside the work this is called a workbook okay why we call workbook because a book usually will have the sheets just like you know a notebook uh, when you open the notebook you will have multiple sheets right 100 page notebook uh, 200 page notebook something like that so this is a workbook with all uh, you know menus and i'll come back to those menus later the purpose of this video is to explain productivity in office MS Office Excel. Okay, so if you see the left bottom corner, you have something which has sheet one. Okay, that is called sheet. You can create n number of sheets just like this. You can create, a, you know, n number of sheets like you know 50, 100, or whatever. It all depends on your memory, the capacity of the machine, uh, how much memory it supports. So I created four sheets, and if you have to delete it, right click and then delete. So as in fact, you can also create multiple control button and then when you right click delete so two so you can delete uh, multiple sheets or a single sheet it all depends if you hold the control button and select then multiple sheets will be selected and then right click delete now I am in sheet one if I want I can create another sheet that is a different thing now when you come inside the you know excel the first thing is you see when you move the cursor up and down right left you know the control moves there is a little box with uh, a small square the right side bottom you no know, right bottom of the this is actually the so you can just use the take the mouse and press anywhere else doesn't matter so in this cell the right bottom you got a small you know square that is actually the multiple selection so you can just uh, press it and then you know you can just use anyway you can move it anyway um, 
in order to select make the selection so you can also use it like you know control shift and then you know downwards if you use control shift it's just to go down bottom the very bottom of the now if i suppose i am in uh, you know very first column the name of the column is a and the name of the row is one it is called a1 the cell address is a1 so b1 c1 d1 something like that. this is a2 a3 a4 it goes like that now if i use shift press shift button and then keep pressing it a downward arrow button you see i can just you know select multiple cells if i go keep uh, pressing keep it pressed and then use right arrow button you see i'm going down so i can go like this okay if i press control button and press left arrow button i'll just come to the very first cell in the worksheet uh, the other thing is you know home button say for instance if you are here if you press home button you will come to the very first cell of the row and if you press control home you will come to the very first cell in the first column of the you know worksheet so this is actually the you know, productivity things so you just uh, can make miracles with the help of the control shift arrow buttons in excel so i'm going to tell you once again see for instance my uh, cursor is here i mean control is here in this uh, what is the address of this cell g6 right if i press the shift button up arrow you see i'll move if i use the shift button downward arrow i'll go down by the way selecting it is called selection i am selecting multiple cells with the help of shift button if i use control and press downward arrow i'll come to the very bottom cell of that particular column which is j in this case let me show you so if i want to go to the very first cell in the worksheet i just have to use control home see doesn't matter wherever i am wherever i may be in the worksheet whenever i press control home button i'll just come to the very first cell of the first column of the first row and then if i use control end button i'll just come to a place where my control was exercised early so i think actually actually i just came until m 450 earlier when i was doing some selection activity so when i am using control end if i use once again it will not go anywhere it will just stay there so which me it shows that i have done something until m 15 in this worksheet till now so control n just goes to the end of the your activity control o it goes to the very first beginning of the worksheet okay this is one aspect so with the help of control shift and arrow buttons you can do miracles okay and now what else so i'm going to talk about the shortcuts and everybody you know sometimes when i'm using the shortcuts they cause they tell me like how do you remember all this they actually we don't need to remember the shortcuts you know i'll tell you a very short uh, a tricky thing so if you, you know we have so many menus right for instance if i want to um so copy paste anyway we'll be using control c control v that everybody know whoever use a windows machine they'll be knowing about for copying control plus v C and for pasting control process. For instance, in the very first cell, I have something called comma, or M K. Okay, okay. I, I just uh, no came. Sorry. M K. Now, if I want to copy this and paste it in B one, the data is in A one. Control C. You see, you'll got that you know little. These are called moving ends in Excel. Okay, and uh, somebody uh, referred to I mean call them as uh, mermaids. in small moving ends which means that something is copied if you get this moving ends it means that data is selected and also copied now we can just move see i'm just using arrow button so left arrow button i want to copy this in e1 suppose control v that's all okay suppose if i select in you know, a multiple you see my data is still selected see and copied because that moving arrows are still on they are keep moving which means as long as those moving arrow uh, ants moves on which means it is selected and copied now i did some selection you see i came to e1 and then shift 
one, two, three, four. So I came down to E5. Now control V. That's it. So I can just uh, you know carry on wherever. And then this is control C and control V. Control C is for copying, control V is for pasting. Next one. So I just wanted to go to the first menu file in, in a quick way. So for that actually what we do is like you know, anybody who ever on, go online and read how to go quickly to a file menu, you will find so many tips. Well. You just have to press Alt button. See Alt. When I have pressed Alt button, see certain numbers together with alphabets are highlighted. So which means you see first you know the file menu, there is some button called F is highlighted. So now see all, all letters and numbers are on. So I, I I just left. You know I am not pressing Alt button. I just left. On the button still the spreadsheet is showing me that you know there are certain you can access these menus with certain numbers and you can access certain you know other things with other you know uh, letters kind of so let me see what happens if I press F I'm going to press F F you see the file menu opens and in file menu as usual you know you have something creating a new sheet open a sheet share your sheet get add-ins info save and see in this program these are the you know sub menus inside the file but you know different applications have different uh, sub menus it doesn't matter in excel these are the sub menus so when i went inside the file menu you see there are certain letters so i can just you know suppose if i press yes so this is near a sub menu called save and uh, there is a letter a near a sub menu save as so if i press yes now windows triggers me where do you like to save this so this is what and how we use access you know the menus and sub menus in excel sheet okay so how can i go back just very simple escape you'll come back to your doesn't matter your worksheet is not going back anywhere okay so now i just wanted to go again and go to the home and i want to see what is there in home press alt now you see I need to press a letter called H in order to go to the home menu. And in home menu, there was a, because I'm already in home, so that's why it's not changing. Okay, in home menu, it's showing me so many other sub menus. For instance, if I want to go to the um, font, you see there there is something called FF. Okay, if I pray, if I press FF, you see quickly, very quickly, you cannot press F wait for some time yes it doesn't work like that so it it is showing me f f which means i have to press f f quickly now you see the control went into that font uh, kind of thing and now i can just you know times new roman and i can just uh, press tab button to switch these are input boxes the first input box is for font the second input box is for font size so now i can just change this into 12 something like that and now if i want to go back you know press escape again alt now it is telling you now let me go to the end anyway i'm not going to talk about the menus in this session this session is only for productivity which means how you are going to copy paste do certain tasks like you know copying pasting accessing menus and some menus and you know this is just a tour kind of thing so go to insert button and see oh i can under insert there is something called v which refers to which points to pivot table we will talk later uh, what is pivot table and how we are going to use them so, and t stands for t so let's see what's going to happen if i press t and uh, you know the, the kind of create table comes here so uh, another window opens is a window inside a window and it is asking me like you know where do you want to insert a table i don't want to insert the table just you know i'm pressing escape to go back i'm still in the menu insert once again, I'm going to press Alt button, and this time, okay, there is something. Let me go to A. Okay, that points to a menu called Data. Okay, A. Now you see the menu change from Insert to Data. Now this is very important to me because uh, I have something called you know here. See Data Analysis. I'm going to talk about how to perform data analysis in my another session. So this is the way. We are just going to use, uh, you know, shortcuts, um, keyboard shortcuts, maybe buttons on, you know, arrow button is not a shortcut, right? We just use arrow button, you know, to move 
within the shade from one cell to the other cell and we use a control shift arrow button to move very quickly and then uh, in order to go to the menus we use a shift to control arrow buttons okay and down you have certain other buttons like here you know these are the called grids or page layout so there is normal page layout this is normal page layout if i press something here you know this is called a, a page layout you know first one is a normal layout second one is a page layout and third one is page break preview so because it breaks the whole page focusing only the data inside that work shape and I'm coming back to the normal view, doesn't matter. Now, once you're coming back to the normal view, you'll find a, a cutting line here, a dotted line. Um, that's as usual, showing you that, you know, this is one page and the next thing is another page, something like that. So this is, we re this is what we refer to productivity. So productivity refers to, you know, using shortcuts and quick menu, uh, menus inside Excel uh, in order to do our activity very quickly. I mean, uh, I, what I mean is doing more using minimum effort. That is what is uh, called productivity. Okay, this is for this session and stay tuned for the next content. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Bye, all of you.